Hey, we have another good integral today. We've got the integral from zero to 23 of the floor of X times the ceiling of X over two DX. Okay, so whenever we have the floor and the ceiling, that's usually what we want to deal with first. And the way I like to do this usually is split this up on integer bounds. And we're not going to infinity or anything, so we're just gonna have a finite number of integrals, like 23 or 24 integrals. So what I want to do with this first, let's factor out this two and write it as a one half in front. And then for like our first integral, we're just gonna be going from zero to one. And then what's gonna happen is the floor is gonna round us down to the lower bound or the next lowest integer in this area between zero and one, Everything's get, everything gets rounded down to zero. And then the ceiling is gonna round us up to the upper bound. So this is gonna be one. But really here, we're just integrating zero. So this first integral is just going away. But then we're just gonna kinda of keep doing the same kind of thing. Like for the second one, we're gonna start at one and go to the upper bound two. The floor again rounds us down to this lower bound one, then the ceiling's gonna take us up to the upper bound two. And so we're just gonna go on and on like this all the way, not to infinity, but to 23 for the upper bound here. What we can do is just kind of generalize one of these. So like for any one of these, I can write my lower bound, we'll just call it N. In the upper bound, we're just gonna have it, we're setting it up where they're only differing by one. So the upper bound's gonna be N plus one. And so in each case, the floor is going to round us down to the lower bound n. The ceiling is going to round us up to the upper bound n plus 1. And then what I can do for this is we can actually write this as a sum because we know here we're starting at 0. But actually, we already found out this first integral is going to be 0. So what I can do is actually let's just start this at 1. And then we'll go to 22. We don't want to go to 23 because you'll notice at 22, then the upper bound is going to be 22 plus 1, or 23. And then let's just remember that we have this 1 half up front. But then from here, n times n plus 1, this is going to be just a constant with respect to x. So this can actually come completely outside the integral. We can bring it here, and then really we're just integrating 1 here. But then here we can just go ahead and like do this integral and get that out of the way. Integrating 1, this is going to be just an x, and we're evaluating from n to n plus 1. But plug it in. It's going to simplify pretty nice because the first part's n plus 1 minus the second part's just n. n plus 1 minus n, that leaves me with just 1. But multiplying in a 1 right here, we can just cancel this whole part off and just ignore it and deal with this series. But now here, I can just distribute in this n, and we can then break it into two sums. So we're going to have this 1 half up front. Then for the first one, we're just going n equals 1 to 22 of n squared, and then for the second one, we just have the same, we're going from, we have n equals one to 22, but then this one's just gonna be an n. But now we have formulas for each of these two sums over here to the right. Let's just start with the first one. We're using the sum for our upper limit k, like here, this k value is gonna be just 22. It's gonna be the same over here, but we're gonna have k equal to 22. We wanna use this formula here. So using this, we're gonna have 22, times k plus one is gonna be 23. Two, then two k plus one is gonna be 45, and this is gonna all be over six. For six, I can write it as two times three. Cancel here and we get 11. Cancel here and we get 15. Multiply this out and what you get is three, seven, nine, five. Okay, next for this one here, this is quite a bit simpler. We just have k times k plus one over two, where k is 22. So what we're looking at, it's gonna be 22 times 23 over two. Cancel two with 22, we have 11. 11 times 23, that's just gonna be 253. But adding 253 to 3795, we get 4048. Divide here by two. And for my final solution, we just have 2024. Okay, there you have it, really good problem. Thanks again to Sid for the suggestion for this one. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.